Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how you can design your own website from scratch, your own personal website, and I'm going to show you how to build the homepage. If you then want to go on and learn more about how to build your own personal website and brand, click the link down below and take a look at my brand new Skillshare course all about personal branding and building your own personal website for success. If you use my link in the description down below, you get a free one month trial to Skillshare and you can watch it for free that way. So without further ado, let's for today jump into building the website from scratch and the homepage and if you want more you know what to do. So welcome to class two. In this class I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your website from scratch basically. So have the piece of paper next to you that you just wrote down all of the answers on to your questions that we discussed in last class and then I want you to type in on Google Wix or you can choose any other website designer if you choose to but for me Wix is the easiest it's one of the most cost effective currently and yeah it's just a great place for beginners to start building their own website so once you're on Wix click on it select it and create an account. Now, once you've created an account, you'll probably see a menu like this. On the left-hand side, there'll be a home button. Above that, a Wix logo. And to the right, there'll be a little drop-down menu. Now, on this drop-down menu, you might not have anything yet. It might just say your name because you haven't got any sites, but click on it. Now, on this drop-down menu, select create a new site. Then it will take you to a new page where it's gonna load up. What kind of website are you creating? So we are, if we're making a personal website for ourselves and stuff, we're gonna select portfolio because this is all about our personal brand. Um, and we'll just go general portfolio for now, for example. What would you like to call your website? I'd recommend typing in your name here. So I'm just gonna call it Dylan Reeves Fellows because mine is all about acting. So I want it to represent me. Now, what do I wanna have on my website? You see, select a few of these, so portfolio, uh, video. We don't really want anything else, but select what you kind of wanna have on your website. And then I'm gonna click next. It's gonna say start designing your site, begin with a template, or let Wix create a custom site for you in minutes. What we're gonna do is begin with a template. Now, I've made stuff via Wix's custom build and via a template, and the custom build is great, but once you wanna change something, because you haven't built every single layer of the website, trying to change stuff is very, very hard. Now, what you're gonna see right here is loads of amazing templates. Now, I'm not gonna deny that all of these templates look stunning. I'd say have a little look at them and discover what template you like the looks of. Take a picture of it, but don't click it and don't use this as the basis for your website because it makes it so much harder to customize it once you wanna add more stuff later down the line. It's great to begin with, but to customize it's very hard. What we wanna do is select blank templates in the right corner here. So again, what I would suggest when you're on the blank templates page, Take a look at the templates that you like the looks of. Now, as we said before, we're gonna start from scratch in this class, just so anybody who's on a different site and doesn't have these templates can join in and design their perfect website. But have a little view in a new tab, so right click, open link in new tab. Have a little view at some uh, templates that you like, and then we are going to recreate these from scratch, and this can be done in any software. And by doing it in, in scratch, it just gives us that extra customization, and it can be a great basis to start from having this template to the side and then making it yourself. So I personally, out of all the templates here, I like this one for my acting. I could have a picture of myself, a bit about me of my credits, and then a link to my showreel, for example. If you are a photographer, you might love this template where you can showcase all of the images that you've taken. Or you might like a, a CV, a professional CV sort of uh, style. Have a picture of you, your work, what you've done. This, this overlapping layout might be quite cool. But there's plenty to choose from. But for me, my favorite is the strip header layout, but I'm gonna create it from scratch. So I've opened it in a new tab, and then I'm gonna head on to start from scratch and edit. So welcome to class three, designing the header of your website. So as we discussed in last class, once you select the blank template, it's gonna open up this page. Now, let me just take you through a few basic principles before we get onto designing our header. Your header at the very top, you got your main body here, and then you've got your footer at the very bottom. So for example, what is a header? A header is something where you have whatever you wanna have, but it stays on every single page. So for example, if I was on the home page, the header would be there. If I was on you know, the gallery page, the header would be there. And this is the same for the footer, except the header's at the top of the page, the footer's at the very bottom, and then the main body of work is unique to every single page. With our header, if we take a look at our template that we're gonna roughly copy, site name, a uh, menu, maybe we wanna leave the menu up the whole time, and a, an image at the top, let's say, for example. So, firstly, let's, let's click add elements and or select the left-hand menu and then add text because we're going to add our site name to start with. 
so again there's so many fonts to choose from when it comes to to creating a website and this is again branding 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 so when we look at these fonts what font represents the work that I'm trying to showcase and what font represents me the elegant title does look pretty nice it kind of showcases professionality somebody who's very elegant somebody who does a professional job so I do quite like it and I'm gonna have my name Dylan Reeves fellow so I'm gonna type this in not too big so it's nice and minimalist and then I'm gonna move this box till I get a line down the middle because that is now in the center of the page when it comes to the header I can change the header design so I click on it twice and then I can kind of look at what what do I actually want behind this header for right now I'm gonna leave it as no background um, but then coming down we're gonna add another element now you're gonna have to trust me on this but we're gonna add a menu so on our home page we want to have a link to every other page that we have basically so for example right now we've only got one page but this menu what we're gonna do is drag it to the top of our home page I've drag and dropped it from the main section up to the, the header so that it's always gonna be visible basically. So I'd recommend doing that to start with as well. And we're gonna drag this across all the way to the right. And yeah, in this class, we're just designing the header of our website and we're gonna add a few pages, right? So select pages in the top left-hand corner, manage pages, and we wanna add a new page. Now, we're gonna select a blank page. We're not gonna use templates just because people um, may not have the same templates we have. So once I've added a blank page, I'm gonna call it contact me. Now this is just so that if anybody sees my work or wants to get in touch with me, they can do that. Always have a contact me page on your website. So now we're gonna design the contact page me later on. Right now we're just sorting out this header. Now again, there's another page that everybody should always have on their own website. Um, it could be you know, my stories, my work, whatever it is that you're showcasing, you wanna add that. So we're gonna add a blank page again, manage pages, rename this, right click, rename, and my work. So this is just a basic template really. And now we can see already that we've got this quite nice little template actually going on here in the header where it says my name, home, my work, contact me. Now, if we wanted to change the design of this menu on the header, we could click on it, select design, and then we can kind of see what other stuff we like. But just go through the menus and think about what colors are gonna work for me and my brand. So yeah, as I said, I quite like this option that we've got on the default, but you can customize the design and choose one that you like yourself. Now, another thing personal branding wise that works really well here is I've chosen to stick with this menu as I like it out of all the options. And also notice that there's a font difference between my name and the contact me, my work and the homepage. Now, what this subtly does personal branding wise is that my name is in the more elegant, um, more elegant and stylized format as opposed to the rest of the words on the screen right now the menu and it subtly makes my personal brand seem very you know professional elegant and that the work I'm gonna do is gonna be like top business it's, it's this weird psychological trick where it helps the brain associate you because your name's in elegant italics with professionalism versus you know the, the header which is standard is different it's like it's like you're above standard because this is a standard font you know your name's not in a standard font so it's a small subtle trick there that i thought i'd point out now there is one final thing that i do like to do when it comes to my website in the header and that is add a location tag to my header so that people can instantly see where i currently am located so i select the left hand menu the plus and then i would select add element now wix has some cool built-in features called decorative where they've got a few icons now on the icon list, there's gonna be a little location tag. So I'm gonna select that location tag. It's a bit big at the moment, I'm gonna drag it over here. I want this to be in my header, but really quite small to be honest. I'll make it really small. Make it in line with myself, my, my actual name. I'm gonna change the design of it because it's currently purpley blue. I actually want it to be black. And then I'm simply going to select plus again. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of text. Now on this sort of text again, this can just be very basic, small paragraph text. And I'm gonna simply say London. London, nice and small. I'm gonna drag this up here. If for example, you didn't have this little location tag, all you would need to do is go onto Google, type in location tag PNG, find the one that you want, right click, save as. If you select image, my uploads, upload an image, and then you'd upload the location tag you just saved. And once this header is now completed, which is, we're gonna go back to the editor, we're gonna check it works on all of the pages. Yeah, the same on contact me, the same on home. 
And step one in creating our own professional website is done. Welcome back to lesson four, class four. In this one, we are going to be designing the homepage. We've done the header, as you can see here. I do like the looks of that. If we take a look at our template, we're gonna go for a little big title. We're gonna go for a subtitle, some about me, a photo, and then a contact button that's gonna redirect us straight to our contact page. Okay, so firstly, let's start with an image. So we're gonna go to the plus menu, select an image, and then select, you know, my uploaded images. Then upload an image that you would like to have. I would recommend here either a picture of you doing some work or a headshot. Then select add to page. Then it will come up right here. As you can see right here, I've gone for an acting headshot, one of mine. I'm then gonna make it a tiny bit smaller and I'm gonna drag it to the very edge of the margin. And then I'm gonna enlarge it slightly. I'm going to increase this page as well, make it a bit bigger. So we've got a headshot on there right now. If we select preview, how does it look? You know, it doesn't look quite right at the moment. We need to add some more text. I'm also not gonna have that on the very, very edge. I'm gonna drag it down right here and have it a bit more in center frame, but you know, not on the very edge of the margin. Next up, let's add a text title. So let's add a big title to start with, get that in line with the header. Then we're gonna add a smaller title, like a subtitle, for example. Um, you can choose the same font or you can go different. It's really up to you. I think I'm going to choose to go for uh, a classic one as the secondary. And then when it comes to the font type, I might choose to have just a standard paragraph text. Cool, so we've got then got our title, subtitle and paragraph, and we're following along this, this layout quite nicely. Lastly, we're gonna add a contact button. So select the plus, select button, and then what we're gonna do is select you know, any design that you want. I think I've got a dark theme and a white theme going on here, so I'm gonna choose a dark button. Uh, I like this one which hovers when you go onto it. And then we're gonna get this button, we're gonna change the text, and it's gonna say contact me, right, like this. And then we're gonna select the button again, and this is where a bit of magic comes in. We're gonna link this button to our contact me page. So we're gonna select it, then what we're going to do, we're going to select link, and then we're gonna select page. Now, once we're on page, we're gonna select contact me. Now, what this does, if we preview it, if I now select this button that hovers white when I go to click on it, so it's quite nice, it redirects me to my contact me page. Then I can go back to my home page and see this again. So now we just need to pad this out and really make it look rather nice. So once you've filled out some information about yourself and added the headings in, we get something like this. Now I'd recommend for personal branding reasons that you have an about me section and you state what you are, what your experience is, and what you're currently working on slash might be working on next, and then where they can find out more information about you. So for example, I'm a UK based actor, five years of experience, professionally trained, worked on a lot of projects recently, and I'm starting work on a new one next month. And my additional showreel work can be found under this page right here. And I'm also gonna add my showreel to the bottom right here. So, so next up, I'm gonna add a YouTube video to my page. So I'm gonna collect, select plus, and then I'm going to find video and music. I'm gonna select YouTube video because what you can then do is, for example, if this is the video that, you know, I have the link for the video that I wanna have on my website, I can expand the video player to as big as I want. Let's say for my showreel, I want it like this. And then I can select change the video, YouTube. Then all I have to do is find the link from YouTube. So for example, once you've got the link to the YouTube video you want to showcase, change the link, paste it in here, and boom, the showreel, in my case, my work instantly comes up. So if you have an introduction video, let's say if you are uh, uh, putting your CV, this website is your CV, you might decide to film an introduction video which showcases yourself. You could then put that video on YouTube and then upload it straight to your homepage right here, for example. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna put this video here. Um, so right now, this looks a bit cluttered to me. I'm gonna space it out in line with my headshot, space that out. Let's see, I, like, I think that looks quite nice actually. Then what I'm gonna do is right now, it's a little cool trick I like to do, is what I might do is to create some sort of scrolling effect or separation between these things on, stage, on, on screen right now. I might add a few lines in just to create some distinction. Let's head back to the editor. Let's select the plus, let's select decorative, and let's select a line. Now again, a lot of website design is trial and error. You're never gonna know what fully works until you actually play around with it and are happy with it. 
But for example, adding in lines to create some separation is some tricks that I've learned over the years. And a key piece of like advice if you're creating your own website, sometimes having separation is good because it allows people to psychologically separate out thoughts. They're like, right, this is who he is, separation. This is his showreel, perfect. Now what I might do is make this fully big, 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 big. I'm actually gonna have this and then I'm gonna copy this, right click, copy, paste it. I'm gonna move this up to here. Now, one thing I noticed in this website at the moment is that as you can see, as I scroll down, my header stays right here. And the problem with the header staying right here, it looks quite messy at the moment. So I'm gonna go back to the editor um, and I'm gonna change header design, custom design, and I'm actually gonna look for one that is basically a semi-plain color. Um, but as we can see right here, it's like a bit gravelly. Because now, when I preview the page, when I scroll down, my header stays the same and it stays visible. And I think that actually looks a lot nicer. So I've made a small adjustment there. And these sort of adjustments, they're fine to make whenever you need to do them. And it's just super clear. So you go on my website, you've got my name, my work, contact me, my location, about me, my professionally trained actor, a shot of me, how you can contact me, some stuff I'm working on. Scroll down, you've got my showreel. Now, all that's left to do is add a little title for the showreel. Um, to keep the theme constant, I'm gonna take, copy and paste that, scroll down, and I'm gonna place this in the direct center of the page. And below it, I'm gonna add a bulletproof list. So let's actually make this homepage. Now, this could be for your, for your, for your own work, you might put you know, the, a label of the shoots you've been on, or a label of the voiceovers you've been doing, or your training, your certificates, your skills. So for example, I could either do it in a long list like this, which I do quite like, a little list like that. I think that looks quite nice, actually. If you wanted to make it bullet points, all you'd have to do is, for example, A, B, enter C, D, highlight the ones you want to bullet point, select the bullet point list right here, and boom, you get that there. So this is exactly what I've been after, a nice, clear, minimalist, fresh website. And boom, I think personal branding wise, because of how clear it is, what I am, what I do, what my experience is, and then how you can see my work, I think it works really well. So that is how I build a basic homepage. Now again, what content you include here and here is gonna be different depending on the type of website you're creating. But the about me section is roughly gonna be the same. And I think when it comes to selecting a photo, for example, choosing a photo where you're smiling especially if you're not interacting, it's a fantastic thing to do because it creates a sense of warmth, a sense of loving, all that sort of stuff. So a smiling photo is great. And then when it comes to theme, you know, play around, see what you like. But I think that this is looking very clean right now.